Persian Empire began to take its expansion from the Indus Mountains to the Black Sea and took over the Macedonians. The Greek city-states were trying to stay alive and active while a hungry empire ready to take over them to the north. However, a Greek revolutionary, Artagasius Miletus, started an open revolt against the Persians of Anatolia. Athens and Sparta later rushed to the rebels and ate, and ate, ate them and began sending troops to stop the Persians. However, they pulled out of the conflict later on. Persians later took Cyprus in 496 BC and ended the rebellion. Persian Emperor Darius the Great decided to wipe out the, the Greeks completely to prevent further rebellions. As the Persian forces were approaching Ma Marathon, an Athenian messenger named Philippides was sent to Sparta to get help, but the Spartans refused due to their religious hostility. Luckily, the Athenians won the battle. Darius soon died, and his successor Xerxes was determined to win the war. He attacks Hellespont, and this triggers the Spartans. The Spartans rush to, the, to halt the Persian advances and were successful. However, the Spartans suffered and lost the Battle of Thermopylae. With Persian victory in Thermopylae, Athen, Athens was evacuated. However, the Athenians did, did crush the Persians in the Battle of Salamis. The Greeks making great gains as the Athenians invaded Sistos and the Spartans took Mount Byzantinum and Cyprus. However, a feud would break out with the Greeks when the Spartans tried to make peace with the Persians, bringing Greece into a civil war. Xerxes was assassinated and things started to fall apart in Persia as the Egyptians started to revolt and were aided by the Greek rivals. Persians took the down the rebellion and defeated the Greeks and, in Egypt, and the rest of the war would go from there. But in reality, the Greeks would be known for winning the Greco-Persian Wars when Alexander the Great invaded Persia. 